Well, we have many questions from students, alumni, and even some parents. Awesome, great. Uh, so we want to go back uh, to the beginning of your conversation about your recent trip to Israel and talk about what, this is a question from Allison Hess, who's a student. What is CNN doing to combat misinformation related to the Israel-Hamas conflict? I mean, it's, it's I mean, it's, there is a very intense process of getting information on the air. I mean, like in terms of, now when information is, is live uh, or interviews are live, you know, that's, that's more challenging obviously than when a piece is taped. But I just know having gone through the process for the taped pieces I've done, um, it's a very intense process about um, what goes on air, what doesn't go on air, is there proof of it, is there not proof of it. Um, How many that, people in your team, producers and fact checkers and? Well, I mean, it, it, it's not just my team. I mean, it's, you yeah. know, I, it's, it's me and a producer, and then we also had a producer in Israel who spoke Hebrew who helped us translate things. Uh, but, and then there are other people on the ground in the, in the bureau that was, the, there's a Jerusalem bureau, but there's also a temporary Tel Aviv bureau. But then there's also just this huge infrastructure uh, of standards and lawyers and other people who like go over things. And so, um, like, you know, CNN, like any news media organization, is made up of human beings and human beings are fallible, but there is a, a tremendous effort to make sure that everything that gets on air has been vetted and, um, and is as factual as possible. You know, it's, news is the best first draft of history and obviously things change, facts change, information changes, um, but everybody's trying their best to make sure that it is correct information. 